dear students let us discuss how selection of stator slots are done under design of stator winding for synchronous machine okay uh, actually there are no definite rules for selecting number of stator slots but looking into the advantages and disadvantages of higher number of slots designer can choose suitable number of slots per pore per phase okay see if number of slots are not properly selected then what happens definitely it will affect cost and performance of the machine okay now let us discuss what are the factors to be considered for the selection of armature slots or stator slots okay so these six factors are taken as reference to decide number of stator slots like balanced winding cost hot spot temperatures leakage reactance tooth ripples flux density in the iron we'll discuss one by one uh, what is unbalanced winding okay because balanced winding is desired in case of machine and what is adverse effect of unbalanced winding in case of machine okay if the number of coils per coil group is not a whole number so this arrangement is referred as unbalanced winding okay and in such case uh, in each pole phase unequal coils of different phases will come okay and this is referred as unbalanced winding okay and number of armature slots must be such a number that balanced winding is obtained after calculation when number of slots are designed for given diameter of machine and output rating that uh, winding should be balanced one okay then adverse effect of unbalanced winding it results into over overheating of rotor surface due to space harmonics excessive triple frequency currents flowing in the neutral when winding becomes unbalanced there will be overheating at the rotor surface same time whatever harmonics are generated uh, because of unbalanced winding undesired frequency signals will be generated that we call as harmonics and they, they circulate uh, triple frequency current means three times supply frequency currents will flow through the neutral due to unbalanced winding okay hence it is highly undesirable uh, coming to cost factor a smaller number of slots leads to slight saving because there are fewer coils to wind form insulate place into the slots and connect when designer choose smaller number of slots what happens uh, definitely there will be uh, less cost due to a smaller number of slots because when number of slots are less cost of labor as well as cost involved to insulate each and every coil which is put in the slot okay and make connections for each and every coil uh, at the termination that cost will be less hence overall cost of the machine may be less when number of slots are less okay and then what about hot spot temperature okay when number of slots are less for given diameter of machine when number of slots are less you know definitely conductor per slot will be more and because of more number of conductor per slot the conductors will be uh, conductors will come very close to each other and because of this when bunch of conductors are put for uh, so smaller number of slots definitely space available for circulation of air will be less and this results in into rise of higher temperature at the winding section okay see when number of slots are less there will be definitely temperature rise due to improper circulation of air used for the ventilation purpose so here this image shows when conductors are placed in the slot and if number of slots are less space available for circulation of air due to bunch of conductors so this image shows uh, in each and every slot bunch of conductor will be placed depending upon number of turns per coil and because of this if number of slots are less for given diameter of machine conductor per slot in the form of bunch or coil will be more and that affects circulation of air hence cooling is not proper okay then coming to leakage reactance factor when number of slots are small what happens 
there will be increase in leakage flux and because of this leakage reactance increase and this uh, leakage reactance uh, increases due to conductors which come very close each other here this image shows uh, stator coils are put in the slot and with smaller number of slots these two conductors come close and because of this leakage reactance increase and it will affect some of the performance parameter of machine okay then what happens to ripple here uh, two ripples in the field form and the pulsation loss in the pole phase decrease if the large number of slots are used so when number of slots are more two ripples as well as pulsation losses in the machine decrease at same time whatever waveform generated it will be free from ripples okay it, it will be close to a sine wave due to large number of slots then what happens to flux density in the iron part of the machine okay <clears throat> you know when large number of slots are chosen in each and every slot insulation is put for insulating this conductor from core section and when number of slots are increased greater space will be taken by insulation itself and once uh, space occupied by insulation for given diameter of machine due to large number of slots that will result into uh, that will make teeth section small okay here so this image shows when large for given diameter of machine if number of slots are increased what happens to teeth section due to increase in number of slot definitely teeth section will decrease and once teeth section decreases definitely you know flux density is flux per area when teeth area decreases flux density at that teeth section goes beyond acceptable limit and uh, generally flux density in the stator sh teeth should not exceed 1.7 to 1.8 weber per meter square but due to selection of larger number of slots and when uh, tooth area becomes small there is chance of increasing flux density at this this section okay also due to large number of slots when tooth area becomes small that makes mechanically weak that section that section of tooth will be, uh, become mechanical weak and to strengthen it to reinforce it sometime some t sections or uh, segmental uh, sections are attached to this section at the ventilating times so whenever large number of slots are increased definitely flux density at teeth section uh, exceeds and same time that teeth section becomes mechanical weak okay special attention is required uh, with respect to choice of number of slots by seeing limitation of flux density at teeth section okay then what are typical values of slot pitch okay this particular uh, slot pitch serves as guide when choosing the number of armature slots and slot pitch depends upon rating of the machine usually for high voltage machines now normally which are built in large capacities means uh, uh, for higher output rating usually uh, voltage preferred will be more you know generation voltage may be 3.3 kV 6.6 .6, 11 16.2 or 33 kV okay but usually for large capacity machine terminal voltage to obtain voltage at uh, to to have higher voltages at uh, terminals of the machine uh, whatever slot pitch are chosen they are usually large and uh, usual values for slot pitch depending upon machine is slot pitch is usually less than or equal to 25 mm for low voltage machines less than or equal to 40 mm for 6 kV or low voltage machines and ys is less than or equal to 60 mm for machines up to 15 kV okay so depending upon voltage rating of machine say so here whatever slot pitch uh, is decided it is decided based on restriction of tooth because depending upon voltage rating of machine space occupied by insulation for given diameter of machine depending upon number of slots will be more and that will restrict slot pitch okay and usually stator slot for uh, slot pitch for large hydro hydroelectric generator varies between 50 mm to 90 mm so it is 5 cm slot pitch for large hydroelectric generators are 5 cm to 9 cm okay then for salient pool machine while choosing number of slots uh, this is taken as reference number of slots per pole per phase is usually between 2 to 4 then for turbo alternators uh, number of slots per pole per phase are more than 
uh, cell and pole machine. It is seven to nine slots per pole per phase are chosen. Okay, and usually sometimes in case of synchronous generators, fractional winding, fractional slot windings are also used. Okay, and when fractional slot windings are used, number of slots per pole per phase may be selected as fraction number. Right. Then what are the advantages and disadvantages of selecting higher number of slots? When designer choose higher number of stator slots, then there will be a reduction in the leakage reactance. Then cooling is better because when number of slots are more, conductor per slot will be less, and that result into better cooling. Then if number of slots are more, uh, slot uh, uh, tooth ripples as well as pulsation losses are also decrease. But what are disadvantages of going for higher number of slots? When number of slots are more, definitely labor cost to insulate, put into the slot conductor, then tape it. Okay, that results into higher cost. Then teeth becomes mechanically weak due to higher number of slots because teeth section decreases. Same time, time flux density in the teeth increase. So these are some of the advantages, and and based on these. Advantages and disadvantages. Designer will decide uh, optimum number of stator slots for given diameter of machine depending upon output. Okay, then dimensions of stator slot. How dimension of stator slots are decided? So uh, to decide dimension of stator slots in terms of its width or depth, flux density is taken as reference, and this should not exceed 1.7 to 1.8 Weber per meter square. And you know, width of the slot is nothing but slot width minus Tooth width. So uh, this is stator lamination. This is slot and this is tooth. What is pitch? It is uh, center to center distance between two consecutive slots. Okay. And depending upon this value, uh, this section is decided. Okay. And this should not. This should not be. Uh, this section should not be too small. Otherwise, flux density exists. So here, width of the slot is slot pitch minus tooth width. Okay. Slot pitch minus this tooth width will give width of the slot. This is width of the slot. Okay, this is width of the slot. Then usually parallel sided slots are used, and when parallel sided slots are used, teeth are tapered, and their minimum uh, and their minimum width occurs at the air gap. This is air gap. Here rotor section comes, and uh, here when parallel sided slots are used. Uh, Uh, section at the teeth will be tapered okay and because of this minimum uh, section will be available at teeth at the air gap okay then uh, how depth of slots are decided the depth of the slots preferably it should not exceed three times the slot the depth of slot should not exceed three times its width okay This is width of the slot, and this depth should not exceed three times its width. Okay. Usually, for some of the machine, deeper slots are used, and when deeper slots are used, leakage reactance will be very large. And when leakage reactance becomes very large, that will limit short circuit current under transient conditions, under short circuit conditions. Okay. Then, in case of cell and pole machine, as internal diameter is quite large, flux density along the depth of the two. Uh, Tooth doesn't vary appreciably. Okay, and width of the tooth may be estimated corresponding to the permissible flux density at middle section of the tooth, and this is uh, this should not exceed 1.8 Weber per meter square. Okay, then coming to length of mean turn, the length of mean turn depends upon these following factors like gross length of the stator core. Each turn consists of two times the gross length of the stator core, then pole pitch. The overhang portion of the coil it depends upon the coil span and which uh, this in turn depends upon the pole pitch. Okay, then voltage rating of the machine also. The insulated conductor coming out of stator slot should have straight length beyond the stator core, and which depends upon the voltage rating of machine. So these uh, factors are taken to decide length of the mean turn in the machine, and uh, usually. Uh, whatever slot dimension is there, this also affects length of mean turn. Length of mean turn also depends upon average size of uh, size of the slot also. Hence, mean length of the turn in double layer winding of synchronous machine is estimated as uh, follows. Like this is the empirical formula: L M T equal to two L plus two point five times 
टू प्लस पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स के 